The International Process Plants PET facility here consists of a manufacturing site of approximately 100 acres fully fenced and 1 million square feet under roof. Major raw materials, terephthalic acid and ethylene glycol, arrive by railcar and are unloaded in the raw material area. They are then transferred to the raw feed mixing system in the monomer plant. Isothalic acid, IPA, the third major raw material, arrives by truck. The polymer control room is the center for central process control, controlling the polymer from raw material mixing through cut resin. The control center also has the capability of controlling the seven fiber polymer lines. The computer-based control system controls the key process parameters for both monomer and polymer production. The PET process raw materials are mixed in a feed system and then transferred into a two-vessel monomer plant with a capacity of 70,000 pounds per hour. Monomer is then transferred to the polymer processes H9, H10 or 11 and H12. H9 and 10 are Tashi designs and have a capacity of 14,000 pounds per hour. H11 is, is an ICI Selenese design, has a capacity of 24,000 pounds per hour. And H12, the Zimmer design, has a capacity of 31,000 pounds per hour. H9 and H10 were upgraded to PET lines in 1993. H11 and Phase 3 monomer plants were completed in 1994 and H12 was completed in 1997. All polymer lines are equipped with high-speed chip cutters with interchangeable spares. The spares allow for continuous polymer production during required changeovers. Cut resin is then transferred pneumatically to the Solid State Polymerization Facility, the SSP. All of the SSP units are Beulah designed. There are three units, P1 and P2 have a capacity of 14,000 pounds per hour and P3 has a capacity of 31,000 pounds per hour. P1 and P2 were completed in 1993 and P3 was completed in 1997. The amorphous chip goes through several stages including crystallization, solid stating and cooling before being transferred for loading into trucks or rail cars. The utilities complex of the plant provides all site energy streams including hot oil heating, steam, chilled and cooled water, compressed air and inert gas. All utilities process equipment is controlled through the utilities control room. The site has a 750,000 gallon per day capacity activated sludge water treatment plant. Process water is supplied by four deep wells on site. Fiber production has two monomer plants, seven polymer spinning machines, supplying 18 draw lines equipped with crimping, cutting and baling with a capacity of 500 million pounds per year. Finished bales are transferred to a fully automatic warehouse with a storage capacity of 21 million pounds and additional flat warehouse storage of 4 million pounds. In summary, the site consists of 100 acres of fully fenced manufacturing space with 1 million square feet under roof. The manufacturing capacity is 500 million pounds per year of fibre and 500 million pounds of PET resin. 